How's it going everyone, it's Gadgets Boy, welcome to another video. And in this one, I'm excited to take a look at this one. This is from HP, and this is the HP EliteBook X360. And this is the 1030 G7 to be exact. It's a portable machine, uh, it's got a lot going for it, latest 10th gen Intel i7V uh, Pro processor in there, which is built for performance and security. It also comes with the super fast Intel Optane memory, which I'll talk about later. It's got this uh, HP pen as well, which we'll take a closer look at as well, so you can sketch on the go. It's got a lot of ports available as well to connect all your peripherals including full HDMI and this is just a solid build. It's got this nice aluminium uh, finish uh, which just feels really nice and premium. Uh, but without further chat let's see what's inside the box and talk to you through uh, about everything that this thing is actually capable of. Let's check it out. Inside of the box, you get everything you need to get started. So you get a USB-C charging cable and power brick in the box. And it's also three pin because I'm in the UK. So that's excellent. If you have a USB-C cable already in the house, don't try and use that to charge your laptop as the one that's inside the box is already certified to actually work with the HP EliteBook X360. Elsewhere, you get your user manual and warranty information. And you also get a user guide for the pen that comes in the box as well. Talk about that pen, you can also change the tip of it as well. So there's a tip uh, replacement tool in the box so you can use that to remove it. And you also get extra tips in there as well. So you can use different position depending on what you're looking to do on the HP EliteBook X360. Going back to that charging brick again, one thing I really like about that cable as well is it's wrapped up in this fabric finishing. Makes it, make, it just makes it extra durable. So if you're gonna be logging it about, chucking it in your bag, etc., dragging on the floor, all that kind of stuff when you're charging it, that is, uh, it means that it's actually nice and robust and secure and safe. So it doesn't uh, become fray or start to rip over time. That kind of stuff, it just keeps it nice and robust. And finally, you get to the actual HP EliteBook X360 1030 G7, mouthful. And as I said earlier, this laptop looked beautiful and as the name suggests this is a 360 degrees kind of laptop so what that means is you can flip the lid open and turn it all the way around and use it like a tablet so if you want to start jotting things down or sketching you can actually fold it over and start doing so that hinge is very solid and allows you to have it in different positions as well so it's not just free moving so you can place it halfway through you can do whatever you want you can also have it in tent mode and with that it means if you're watching a movie or you want to show your work to a client who sat opposite you, you can just do that and they can see what's on the display whilst you talk through, talk them through what, you, what you're actually displaying on the, dis on the screen itself if you don't have an HDMI port to show them that is on a bigger display. And then if you want to, you can just flip it back and then you've got your laptop as normal. But what I really like is the fact that you can turn this the other way around and a laptop can automatically switch into tablet mode and you can hold it this way, uh, portrait mode, or you can have it landscape as well. So you can still do all your work and the laptop is very responsive. In fact, it just switches over and auto rotate as quickly as possible. As soon as you open it up, it does that. One thing I really like as well is the keyboard. The keyboard feels fantastic to type on. It's very quiet as well as HP's quiet keyboard uh, technology. So when you're typing on it, you can't, you can hardly hear anything. So listen to this. And that's me really bashing in to actually let, get you guys to hear what I'm doing. The trackpad is also large enough as well. It's very precise in terms of navigating the screen and maybe using it to select things, maybe drawing as well, although you do have a pen, which we'll talk about more in a second. Another thing here is we have uh, this speaker system here, which is tuned by Bang & Olufsen. With Bang & Olufsen audio and it means you can really get some really nice sound quality, which you can also tweak as well in terms of equalizer. Uh, you can tweak to suit whatever you're doing on your laptop which I really like as well. There's also a couple of things for security purposes on here. So you have a fingerprint reader on there, which is very responsive as well. So you can use that to quickly log into your laptop. Although I find myself using that Windows Hello system here. So you just look at the camera on top and that would automatically pick up your face. There's two laser uh, thing that pops up on there as well to shine and read your face, read your eyes. And that way it logs you to the laptop, logs you into the laptop very quickly. And it picks up from where you've left off as well. With this, it just means that it's extra secure. It's only uh, personalized to your face. So security wise, you're very uh, sorted. You're sorted in that area. With that webcam as well, this is 720p HD. So you can use that for your Zoom calls as well. So a lot of people are doing Zoom calls at home. I've done about three of them today already. So I've been using that to use my Zoom call and it picks up really good details and you got a good microphone as well to pick up my voice as I'm speaking. Uh, so people don't have any problems at all hearing me and they can see me clearly as well and sharply they can see my uh, facial expressions as they're telling me about new products and all that kind of stuff. Another thing on here is something called HP SureView. And with this, it's more about privacy. Again, taking that security a bit, a bit step further, another step further. So with this, if I'm working on an important document, for example, important project, and I don't want people to see what I'm doing on my laptop, I can just press that button 
and that way it hides what you can see on the screen. It dims the screen so you can't actually see what's going on on there. What I also like is the finishing on the screen. So although this is a 1920 by 1080p resolution of display, what you've also got is this matte finishing on there. So it helps with uh, direct sunlight, so against like glaring and all that kind of stuff. And when you turn it sideways as well, it means people can't really see from the side if people are trying to lean over your shoulder to see what you're talking about or typing up on your screen, that will be blocked out, which is which comes in very handy. It's very useful for security purposes when you're working on those important projects as well. The screen is also very smooth as well. So you've got 60p uh, refresh rate on here. So again, when you browse through documents and moving around the screen when you're drawing and stuff, it's very fluid and it's just nice and smooth. I also like that the display has little bezel, so not a lot of bezel going on around here, so it doesn't really distract you. Again, it just takes full advantage of that screen real estate for uh, when you're drawing or when you're reading a book or when you're watching a movie, streaming a movie uh, as well on here. The HP EliteBook X360 is also very thin. Look at the size of that. And it's also lightweight as well, so it makes it very easy to just pick up, carry, put it in your backpack and you're good to go to work anywhere you want to take this. And it's also very easy to just use one finger to lift uh, the lid open like so. And it's just nice and portable, just a perfect size. I like this 13 inch size, which is something that I, I've been getting used to at the moment. So again, popping into my backpack, it just makes it a perfect size for that. Talking about ports, you have on the right side, a full HDMI port. You have one USB-A port and two USB-C ports, which are also Intel Thunderbolt 3. You can use one of them to charge uh, your laptop. Actually, I believe both uh, power your laptop as well. So you can plug in your charger in either of them and you can also use it to power your other devices as well. So on the other side, you have another four USB-A uh, port and a 3.5 mil headphone port. And talking more about that pen, you have this pen with uh, two buttons on there. So you can use one to like erase stuff. And then you've got one, a clicker on the top as well. So with that clicker, if you double click, for example, you can use that to take a screenshot and start jotting and making notes on that screenshot that you've taken as well. You can also modify this uh, little buttons as well. You can, you can change what they actually do on the system. So if you go into system settings, you'll be able to change those things. It's also got a USB-C charging port on the side. So in the, in the packaging, you get a cable a USB-A to USB-C uh, charging cable for this. So you can use that to plug into your laptop and charge this on the go. So this is Bluetooth powered. And what you've also got is that magnet on the side. So it makes it easy to uh, just attach it to the left side of the laptop like so. So it just picks it up and it's nice and secure. It just holds onto the side, which is what you need so you don't lose it. And it's so secure. It's not going anywhere anytime soon. There are three other features on here that I really like as well. One is that built-in tile function. And with tile feature on here, it just means that I can use it to search uh, for my other tile, uh, tiled products. So my wallet, for example, my camera, things that are attached to tile products, I can use this to search for them and vice versa as well. So if I ever misplaced my laptop, I don't know where I've placed it, I can just use that to search for my laptop. It also means that if my laptop is in my backpack and I've misplaced my backpack, if the laptop is still in the backpack, it means I can just use my phone to track it down, which is really good. Another feature is that HP quick drop feature on here. So it's an application on here that allows you to quickly drop uh, files to your laptop on the go. So for example, I would use my iPhone, for example, pictures that I've taken on there. I can quickly drag from there onto the laptop and start editing that photo straight away. It works seamlessly and it's really good. I really love it. You can select multiple files and just drag them straight away. And using that uh, quick drop tool, you can use that to move files between your device and other devices like your phone. And that third feature that I really like is the fact that it's touchscreen as well. So besides being able to rotate this at 360 degrees angle, it also means I can use that touchscreen to manipulate things. So like when I'm drawing and sketching on here, for example, I'm using a pen uh, to sketch things and I'm using my fingers at the same time to rotate the picture to get the position right. And then I'm drawing on it, on it at the same time. It just makes it nice and fluid. It makes it uh, really, it's, it's, a, it's a joy, joy, a pleasure to actually draw on this screen. And it's just really nice. And I like the, the, the response, the response of the pen as I'm touching the, the screen. It feels like pen to paper and I'm just drawing away and sketching. It just feels really nice. Okay, two more things. We also have Intel Optane memory. So with that, it just means you have a better memory management. It means applications load really quickly, like using Adobe Lightroom, for example. There's no hiccups at all. Editing my photos using Lightroom on here and then loading other applications from the background. It just works really smoothly using that Intel Optane memory for the RAM uh, management in there. What I so like about this is the battery life as well. The battery life is really good. It lasts me the whole day and it hardly gets hot as well because you've got that heat dissipation on the back area and it just means that whilst you're using it, it just keeps it nice and cool the whole time, which is really good. If you're going to be placing this in your hand, you know, drawing on your palm as a ta in tablet mode, it means you need something that's cool on your hands that's not going to get hot. Uh, even if you have it on your lap as well, you don't want something that's going to get hot and heat up very quickly. 
The display is also very bright as well and combined with Intel UHD graphics, you really get good graphics out of that display. And it's also finished, like I said earlier, it's got that matte finishing, but it's Corning Gorilla Glass 5, again, making it uh, very strong as well. So for things like scratch, uh, especially if you're gonna be drawing on it and all that kind of stuff, you can be rest assured that you're okay in that sense. Overall, it's a very quick laptop. Performance is great, battery life is great as well. And I love that they've included 16 gig of RAM in here. You've got 512 gig of internal storage as well. So you've got everything you need to work on the go whether it's uh, you're drawing, you're making notes, you're using this to present your work to clients on the go, or you're a student that needs to program, you know, design applications and all that kind of stuff on the go using coding. Uh, you, you'd be able to do that on here. It's very, very suitable for that and good to go. So just as a summary, who is this laptop for? Who is the HP EliteBook X360 1030 G74? This is great for professionals and creatives out there who wants to work on the go, uh, present your work to clients with that X360 display. You can also use it in tablet mode. It's got 16 gig of RAM, really a good battery it's got 512 gig of internal storage so you can store a lot of uh, stuff on here you can also move it off using that fast USB-C port and uh, USB 3.1 USB-A uh, port as well is there got HDMI uh, full HDMI port there as well you basically have everything you need to get your work done both on the go or even at home if you need to uh, work in the office as well everything you need is right there for you boom so that's it for the HP Elite book uh, X360 uh, so guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, if you have any questions, drop them there as well. I drop all relevant links in the description area so you guys can check it out, including where to buy. And if you want to look more into it yourself, you can do so as well. But in the meantime, if this is your first time on the channel, please do subscribe, hit that bell notification, and please do share it as well in case someone else might find this very useful for them. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.